Hi, my name is Brian. Today I'm going to talk to you about this Blackmagic Pocket 4K rig. I'm going to build it for you and I'm going to talk about why it's an awesome solution if you're looking for a cinema camera that's cheaper than just about anything else on the market. So this rig is aimed at improving some of the features that I thought the Blackmagic Pocket 4K could use a little help with. With this here setup, I can power the camera for about 9 hours on a single charge, record about 11 hours of 4K raw footage, I can see my composition in bright daylight from multiple angles, and the camera has enough heftiness where you can do steady handheld shooting. So let's build this rig and see how it does all this. All the links to build this rig are in the description below if you're curious as to where you can get any of them. So everything is kept in here. This is a Pelican 1510 case. It's carry-on size. It's awesome for protecting gear. So here are the meat and potatoes of the rig. It's the Blackmagic Pocket 4K. Awesome camera, awesome price. Next, you have this small rig cage. It's one of the cheapest cage options on the market. It gives you an awesome grip in holding the camera. Just screw that on with an Allen wrench. Next up, you have the top handle. This allows you to get a steady grip on it and carry the camera around without worrying about dropping it. And again, that attaches on with two small little Allen key screws. Nice and sturdy. Next comes the small rig SSD holder. Awesome for holding the Samsung T5 SSD. Next comes the Samsung T5 SSD. This thing you can shoot for days on it and it's not gonna run out of power. Plus you can actually edit your projects off it if you put your Premiere files on it. Or DaVinci or Final Cut Pro, whatever you choose. Here's the base plate that we put on it. This is for connecting the rods that we mount the battery to. And it's also a tripod base plate so you can attach it to sliders, tripods, gimbals, anything like that. Next come these two carbon fiber rods. They just go on the bottom, just like that. So I have these two pieces stuck together right now, but this is the rail block and this is the V-mount locking plate. And so you can slide that right on the back like that and then screw that on. And so here's the battery. This is a 150 watt hour battery. It'll power the camera for about nine hours of recording time. And that just clicks on there like that. Gives it a nice balance. Here's the monitor mount. Just screw this on the front like so. Here's the monitor I use. It's a Atomos Shinobi. It's super bright in the daylight and I like having it on here because you can flip it at any angle and that just screws on here. I power the Shinobi with these two batteries. Each one lasts about six hours. I've never really had to change them in the middle of a shoot. And then this charger right here. So since the SSD blocks the cold shoe mount in the small rig case, I got this extension right here that I put the microphone in. For audio, this has some awesome internal microphones, but I just put a Rode VideoMic Pro on there just to get a little bit better scratch audio. So now come the cables to power this setup. This one is a DTAP to Blackmagic power cable, basically. This is the Rode VideoMic Pro cable. It's just a standard 3.5 to 3.5. This is an HDMI cable that connects the monitor. And this is the USB-C cable that allows us to record onto the Samsung T5. And this is the last piece. It just is a little clamp that holds the HDMI and the USB-C cable in place so they don't come out when you're recording. So let's get these cables on here. And there's this little Velcro strap right here that keeps all the cables nice and tight. And voila, you got the rig. Super sturdy, everything's tight together. You can shake it around, nothing's coming loose. It's balanced perfectly, so it's almost like using a gimbal when swinging side to side like this. Which brings me on to the next point of why you want a heavy rig if you're gonna be shooting handheld. So here's a quick physics lesson on why you want a heavy rig when you're shooting handheld. So what causes camera shake or shaky images is external forces acting on the camera. So these can be wind hitting it from the side, moving it like that. It can be movements from your arm, shaking it like this. So you have all these forces acting on the camera. Boom, we go back to basic physics. Force is equal to mass times acceleration. With the help of a little arithmetic, you can see when you have a heavier mass, AKA a heavier camera rig, you're gonna end up with a slower acceleration. A slower acceleration is gonna result in that more cinematic camera shake rather than if you have something super light and it's going all over the place like this. Lesson over. So we also have three lenses in the camera case. This is probably one of the best ones you can ever get. It's a 14 to 140 millimeter on micro four thirds, which is the equivalent to 28 by 280 millimeters on full frame. So it covers every focal range and in daylight scenarios, it is absolutely fantastic for that. Next, we got the 25 millimeter 1.7, 50 millimeter equivalent on full frame. This is awesome for low light, awesome for portraits, just about anything. This is what's on the lens on the camera. 80%, this is what's on the camera about 80% of the time. No, 50%. 40%, 40%, 20%. 
20% of the time, this is the last one. It's a 42.5 millimeter, which is an 85 millimeter full frame equivalent. It's also 1.7, so it's great in low light. This low guy is stabilized, which is awesome for just getting slightly more stable shots. And those are the lenses that we need. And then you have a variable ND filter. Bam, we got lenses. So that's the rig, you guys. I hope you learned a thing or two about building a rig and enjoyed the video. This is an awesome solution if you're looking for a cheap, cheap, not cheap. This is a less expensive option if you're looking for an awesome cinema camera with even awesomer image quality. If you have any questions, feel free to write them down below and I'll give you my best answer. Happy shooting. Ciao.